Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Alfredsen and uh, today we are going to look at how I make uh, my second serum or the serum that I'm using on top of the first serum that I'm using. And the first serum that I'm using is the one I have spoken about before and that is the one with the lactic acid in it and the tartaric acid and the other uh, acids in it. And uh, you can see how I make that one uh, up here. And uh, for that uh, serum, uh, I could in theory put this stuff that I'm talking about today into that but what will happen is that it will not work as it is supposed to because it will not gel it will be completely um, like water and so therefore I need to have two uh, separate uh, serums but I can use one serum which is the one with lactic acid first and then that let uh, that sink in and then I can use uh, the other one uh, on top and um, the other one uh, that I use on, on top uh, contains something called a uh, sodium uh, alginate so that is a salt of something called alginic acid and uh, you will find uh, this salt uh, used in uh, a lot of uh, skincare products and uh, it works in the same way as the uh, hyaluronic uh, acid uh, works so it uh, brings in uh, moisture uh, to your skin so if you are seeing uh, some uh, product that uh, contains something like uh, an algae extract or algae soup or something like that well then they will say that it contained a lot of uh, goody stuff uh, but uh, the main reason for using it is uh, this um, stuff here, so the uh, sodium alginate, which in the plant will be alginic acid. So when you are taking a, a plant like uh, the algae uh, kelp, um, then it is very uh, slippery and um, yes, is not sticky perhaps, but very, very, very uh, slippery. And uh, what makes it like that or any other algae is um, this... Uh, thing here, the uh, alginic acid, which uh, the plants are producing in order to uh, protect themselves. So uh, that is what is uh, nowadays used a lot in uh, skincare. So how can you uh, use it uh, yourself if you are making a DIY uh, solution? Well, uh, what I do is that I use it uh, in a serum where I'm adding a, a little bit of other stuff to it. Well, I could use it just on its own, so just like a uh, alginate in water and that would be uh, fine but uh, I have chosen to add a little bit uh, more and uh, I like to add uh, niacinamide because it is very good for the skin so it's very like it's soothing uh, for the skin and that is something you will find in a lot of skincare products uh, as well and uh, another thing you might find uh, in skincare products particularly if you are looking at uh, some uh, Korean skincare stuff then you will find uh, a product called uh, or an ingredient called uh, elantoin um, so um, that uh, is something that is also very uh, soothing uh, for this skin and it uh, looks like this and usually that is used in a concentration of uh, 0 uh, 0.1 uh, to uh, 2 per percent so I'm using a, a 2 percent uh, solution so that would be 2 uh, grams of it in a 100 milliliters of uh, water so uh, what sort of uh, water am I using well I am uh, today using uh, the Buxton uh, water which is because I normally just uh, drink it so this is what I have at the moment so I am using that but you could just use uh, tap water if uh, you like um, in this uh, here uh, I have added uh, something else and that is because uh, I would like to have a uh, preservative uh, in uh, the mix and what I use as a preservative here is uh, something that you will uh, find in your, your kitchen perhaps and that is something you're using if you're making uh, jams and uh, cordials and uh, stuff like that chutney something that will have to, to last for a little while uh, and you don't want to go uh, moldy and uh, with microbes in it so that is something called a uh, potassium sorbate and that you will also find in a, a lot of his skincare as well. Maybe not use that much because it's not uh, as potent uh, maybe as some of the other uh, preservatives that are uh, used. So uh, I like to use uh, this one here and um, I use uh, like one gram in uh, a kilo and that's what it says on the back. So that would be uh, one gram in uh, a liter. So I just mixed it um, in this water here. So I mixed uh, a liter and then I've just been taking from this uh, bottle uh, several times uh, because it's easier to mix if you have a liter instead of like um, not that much in a hundred milliliters. So in general, uh, finding out how uh, much to use can be a little bit uh, difficult, but if you are making a 2% solution then uh, you need uh, 2 grams of um, this stuff so if you are taking the uh, nice cinnamide here um, it is relatively easy because it comes in these pills and I, I take four of these ones here they look like that 
so it's kind of like a, a big a capsule so that is very easy because there will be a 500 milligrams in each of these ones here so uh, I just take uh, four of those but uh, if you are having a, a powder like the uh, Alantoin powder here then you might not at home have a very uh, precise scale because uh, usually that is something that you would have in a lab and not 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 a lot of people have that uh, at home so uh, what I uh, do is that I simply uh, I find a spoon that I would be using something like this perhaps or something like uh, this and then I uh, take maybe 20 or 30 scoops of that and I find out how much does that weigh all in all and if I had taken 20 uh, scoops or 30 I would just divide with that number and then I know more precisely not completely precisely but more precisely than just having as a rough idea um, how much there would be in a spoon like uh, this so uh, what I will start with is um, I will uh, use a funnel and then I have this sort of a travel uh, kit thing where I know there is a hundred milliliters it can contain a hundred milliliters so we just put uh, the funnel and uh, if you are using um, niacinamide in the form of these uh, capsules here it is a very good idea to do that to begin with so you just open it and then pour it out like this so if you um, have already added the other dry ingredients and then you do this uh, what often happens or at least happens to me is that uh, I will lose one of these uh, capsules into the mix and then it's difficult to get out again so doing it to begin with then you can just put the whole thing out and then take them out and then done with that but um, better not to lose them in the mix so uh, that was the uh, niacinamide and then I will go in with the uh, sodium alginate and looks like this and I have already measured that uh, if I want uh, two grams I need a uh, half uh, of these uh, spoons here so as I said you can find out uh, how much is in the spoons that you are using by using the method that I just mentioned so um, this would be uh, one gram um, if you go uh, above one gram it might be a little bit thick and uh, just like with hyaluronic acid if you go um, above a two percent then you risk that uh, the hyaluronic acid will actually draw moisture from your skin uh, because it, it it wants so much water or it can hold so much water then uh, what it can get from the surroundings uh, from the humidity in the air is not enough and therefore it, it might draw out water from uh, your skin so you don't want uh, too much of it so here i just use uh, one gram in 100 milliliters so that's that and then we take the alantoin and that I have already found out that I need uh, a spoon of these ones here so like that it doesn't have to be very very precise but I mean you need to have sort of an idea about uh, what you are doing there and uh, then um, you have to shake uh, this stuff up because if you just add water into uh, a big pile of powder of the uh, sodium alginate then it will very quickly form a big lump and it will take a little while before that will uh, dissolve so something that will help it a little bit along but not like it be completely uh, foolproof but kind of like you have to uh, mix it first and then it works uh, much better and then I add a little bit of the uh, water so here you can go in and you can either just shake it up or you can just stir it up a little bit um, I mean eventually it will uh, dissolve uh, but it might take a, a little while before it dissolves uh, completely so when you fill it kind of like off half oops halfway this was the cap and just uh, shake it so you will see that it might you can see that some of it is still uh, on this side but it takes a little while for it to uh, dissolve completely and now I've just added half the amount of uh, the water because what I would like to, uh, because both because you need to be able to shake it up a little bit uh, but also because uh, before I add the rest of the water I would like to add another uh, ingredient and that is uh, again just like the uh, potassium sorbate 
it is not a preservative, but it's something that is not a, an active ingredient as such in the mix, but it's something I put in because uh, what happens when uh, you're using uh, something which is called propylene glycol, or glycol, and looks like this, and which you will find in a lot of skincare products, what it does is that it um, helps uh, all the uh, active ingredients to go deeper into your skin because it kind of like disturbs the uh, moisture barrier or the skin barrier for a little while and then uh, the other stuff can sink in much better and uh, if i um, am using um, the other serum that i make which is with the lactic acid and tartaric acid if i don't uh, use uh, this one in that mix then it kind of like feels in a certain way on the skin but if i use uh, the propylene the glycol in the mix then it uh, feels much stronger so it makes me feel it makes me think that when they say that this is used in order to make the, uh, the active ingredients penetrate your skin much better it must be kind of like true because it really uh, it gives a, a stronger impact of it and also it um, it helps keep uh, moisture in the skin there will of course be people saying that this is something you should totally not use because it's an antifreeze and so on but in the quantities that we are using it here it's not a problem normally it is used in the uh, concentration by uh, as a uh, one to eight percent so what i am using is a concentration of four percent so that would be uh, four milliliters in a uh, hundred milliliters of water and i have just measured that four milliliters is one of these ones here like that And then I will add uh, the rest of the water, almost. I need to have a little bit of space so I can uh, shake up uh, the uh, solution. So I just leave uh, a little room from there and then up. And then we have the lid here again. So we can just shake it. And it will take a little while, as I say, uh, to before all this stuff is completely dissolved. So, so just give it a good uh, shake and a stir and then um, leave it for half an hour or something like that and then shake it uh, again. So uh, another thing um, that you will see is that it has this sort of uh, opaque look and uh, one of the reasons for that is that um, the uh, niacinamide uh, capsules that I'm using, they contain uh, something else and that is a uh, magnesium stearate and magnesium stearate is something that uh, you will often find in skincare products. Um, in the, these uh, capsules here, it is used so that uh, the uh, niacinamide itself will not uh, stick uh, together to itself or to the walls of the uh, capsules. So it makes it easier to continue make it a, a loose powder. And uh, magnesium stearate is also used in uh, cosmetics. So uh, when you're using a powder on your skin or an eyeshadow or something like that, it might most likely will contain uh, magnesium stearate because it makes uh, the product adhere to your skin much uh, better. And uh, one thing uh, it also does is that if you are having a uh, oily skin, then uh, magnesium stearate will actually uh, act uh, as a mattifying uh, ingredient. And uh, in a lot of uh, powders and uh, eyeshadows, in order to get this sort of, uh, one way of getting uh, this sort of a uh, matte look is to use uh, magnesium stearate. It will take up uh, oil, so uh, it will give uh, a sort of a uh, mattifying effect to some degree. It might not be enough the amount there is in here in order to obtain a mattifying uh, effect, but uh, it's just to say that it is something that is uh, used on skin uh, anyway in many uh, lotions and uh, potions, so it's not something to be completely afraid of. But if you don't want it, then you will see that if you just leave this uh, on its own overnight, uh, it will uh, come to the bottom and then you can take uh, the solution itself and decanter it over into another container and then just uh, leave uh, the powder uh, behind. I just normally uh, shake it up and then use it like that. So uh, this uh, could be a little bit more uh, diluted, but to show you how um, it works on this skin, or not diluted, I mean, it could be a bit more, uh, the, the alginate could be maybe diluted a little bit more or dissolved a little bit uh, more. But to show you how uh, it works, now I have already used this uh, in the morning or this morning, uh, so I have my uh, creams uh, on top, so, but, Sometimes uh, if I don't want to wash my face in the evening, I've not had anything else on but my normal creams um, I could just uh, take this on top and then just add a little bit more and then some cream on top of that and then just quick go to bed um, And then some would say oh, but you have to thoroughly clean your face. Well, yeah it's One should not 
exaggerate such issues. I know that a lot of uh, creams, uh, the producers, they are really talking about all this sort of stuff. But you know, in order to get nice skin, it is something else that you need to do, and that is basically add moisture and uh, make sure that uh, your skin has a good uh, moisture barrier and uh, work with the ingredients from the inside as uh, well. And you can see other uh, videos that I've made that says uh, about how to make a nice and good uh, moisture barrier. And one of the things you can do from the outside is to use a lactic acid. But you can see that uh, in my video about a uh, lactic acid, I'm willing to it up here. So I just uh, put it on uh, like that and it, it kind of like, it sinks in very quickly into the skin. Um, and I would just uh, put my uh, creams uh, on top of uh, this is serum because it is uh, just a, a serum. But uh, if I just mix the alginate, as I said, into the uh, other um, serum with the uh, lactic acid, then uh, the alginate would uh, not be uh, gel like, it would just be uh, like water. So it will not work uh, under conditions where uh, the pH is uh, low. So uh, that's why I don't mix them. But if I take the lactic acid and let that sink into my skin first, and there I will avoid my lips and my eyelids. Uh, when all that stuff has sunk in, I can use this uh, on a top and it's not a problem. It will not split or anything like that. Um, but here, uh, here I, will, um, I will use this uh, on my eyelids and I will use it uh, on my lips as well. So uh, you can do that with this one here. And I will say, uh, I find it works uh, very well, particularly in combination with uh, the uh, lactic acid uh, underneath and then just my uh, normal uh, creams which is not something particularly fancy. It is just a cream from uh, Ampriolis, uh, La Creme Fluide. And uh, yeah, it's not particularly uh, expensive. So, but you can see that uh, in uh, some of my uh, other videos where I talk about my general uh, skincare. So yes, this was uh, how you can make a, a very easy uh, serum that has uh, algenic acid in it, or in this case here, sodium uh, alginate, which is often what is used in uh, skincare products like uh, sheet masks and um, serums and stuff like like that and it is very inexpensive i mean yes you need to have to, uh, to buy these uh, containers here and they are for what they are not particularly uh, expensive and i will give uh, some links to them uh, below in the uh, box below um, and you will have for a, a very uh, long time this is for more than just a, a month uh, use well when i make uh, this uh, lotion here this is serum here uh, i will use it uh, within a uh, 14 days or something like that. So I did act. Uh, I did add the um, preservative to it, but still um, I like to keep it uh, in the, the fridge. So uh, yes, uh, this was how you can make a, a nice, uh, very um, gentle uh, serum uh, for your skin that will uh, suit uh, your skin. So uh, if you would like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all the things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of uh, videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.